State victorious in the first round of the CCHA playoff. Joined now by head coach uh, Mike Hastings. Mike, your thought on tonight's game? Well, I thought the first period was uh, a little bit back and forth. It was nice to, to get a lead. Um, I thought for us, um, the line of uh, Andres Pavel, uh, you know, they, they just, I, I thought they were consistent from the beginning. And with Greg getting the first one and uh, Will Hillman stepping into an opportunity tonight and taking advantage of it, I thought that line kind of drove us early. And uh, over the back half of the game, I thought we finally uh, started to, uh, you know, utilize our depth a little bit more. And uh, as we knew it was going to be a hard out tonight, and it was uh, it was an opportunity we wanted to take advantage of to only play two games. So I'm um, fortunate to be moving on and look forward to next week. Tim Rapoli, so you have your hand up there. I want you to go ahead with the first question. Hey, Coach, um, based on the uh, altercations and the extracurriculars around uh, – the St. Thomas net and the punch by Tommy. Um, uh, is this going to, is this the foundation of a rivalry? Is there some sports hatred that uh, I want to ask about how long a memory you guys are going to have on this? Well, I just, you know, and at the end of the year, when you get to these moments and a season has ended and one continues, there's going to be emotions. And so, you know, the, I think there's going to be a rivalry based upon not just tonight, not because of tonight, but really because of the proximity between our program and, and St. Thomas. Um, I think they're a great attribute to our conference. I think that they're going to be uh, somebody that is going to have a lot of success in, in due time, and it's not going to take them a lot of time to get there. So uh, you look at, you know, through last night and through the first period tonight, they were giving us all we could handle. And so we found a way to get it done in the second and third. And we've got a lot of respect for Rico and St. Thomas. And um, I'm sure they're going to go back and continue to get better, just like we're going to have to. John Courier of the Mankato Free Press. Hey, Mike. Uh, it, tonight, the way the game ended, do you think it was important for your team just to get a little bit of confidence or swagger back a little bit, just to kind of make a bit of a statement that uh, you, know, you guys are – are still the number one team? I, I think for us, it's we've throughout the year, Chad, we've tried to focus really on, on ourselves uh, as much as possible. And, and for us to be able to, you know, one, come out and get a lead, get the crowd into it right away, have some different people contribute offensively. Uh, and then, you know, we, even when it was tied to find a way to get a lead and then extend that lead, I thought our power play was better tonight, um, which, Previously, it, it, it had been just okay, even though last night I thought it gave a spark to us in the third period, as you and I discussed last night. But for me, I thought, you know, when, when we're playing well, we're utilizing our depth, and tonight our depth showed up, and we needed it to. Um, and I, I think that's when we're a difficult out, is when we have a lot of different people contributing, and that happened. I thought tonight uh, a couple times, you guys were, were passing up some good shots for even better shots. And whereas some nights you might not want that, you might want to get the, take the first good shot you have. Were you guys trying to get that going back and forth, getting that goalie to move in the, in the crease a little bit, to, just trying to create an even better opportunity for a teammate? Well, you want, you, you know, you hope your guys uh, are playing with confidence. And uh, tonight you look at the, I think it was the, the second power play goal uh, that was scored. Um, by Reggie Lutz. I thought that was a beautiful, it was a beautiful play. We went from up top to dot to dot to, you know, to really a, a, a backdoor play from Reggie. Um, I'm going to miss it when Reggie's gone because he makes that look easier than it is. Uh, that's a hard play. And, and Nathan Smith calmed down a puck and threw it through the, the highway and, and it was uh, delivered to the net as only Reggie can do. And so we needed our special teams offensively to be a bit better. And as you can tell, our, our penalty kill is going to have to be better moving forward. But I think we found some really good things out tonight. Uh, I thought, again, the, the Pavel line was very good. And uh, we're going to, you know, give them an opportunity throughout the week to continue. Jim, do you have another question? Yeah, I do. Um, Coach, I don't know how much attention you paid to the shot attempt statistic, but you had 46 shot attempts in the second period. You broke the 100 mark. 101, according to College Hockey News, 
Does that mean anything to you? 101 shot attempts in a single game? Well, it just, you know what? I thought we did a better job of, of, and, and Chad already touched on it. I thought we were, um, we were consistent in our efforts and we were consistent in getting second and third opportunities. Uh, Tommy's a good goaltender. You saw that last night. We had some attempts. They did a good job last night of blocking a lot of shots, but I didn't think we were satisfied tonight. I thought we kept coming and hopefully that's something we can build on throughout this week. Chad, do you have another question? Yeah. Just like, can you talk about 33 wins? Cause obviously you guys hit milestones like this quite a bit now, but 33 wins in a, in a program like this to, to set that kind of a record. Um, just what does it mean to you? And uh, certainly you don't think you're done. Well, I mean, it's, 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 it's a number you want to continue to build on. Uh, obviously I'm, I'm very thankful for the group that I have the opportunity to stand behind, uh, you know, on Fridays and Saturdays and they've done a great job this year and hopefully we can continue on the ride together. Um, but you know, we're, we'll see next Saturday. I'm hoping that this place is full and uh, they'll have a chance to go out and try and get it to 34. And, you know, I, I look at records, Chad, and you've been around quite a bit. It's, it's one of those things where those are, are really talked about at the end when you're done and hopefully we're not done. Under your thoughts on tonight's game. Um, I'm glad that we got the first one finally after a few few previous games and props to St. Thomas. They have been very good to both of the games and playoff hockey is a lot different no matter who you play and credit to them for how hard I played, but I'm glad that we came up on top in this one. Great. Thanks for that. Chad Courier, we'll start with you. Sure. Andre, do, do, do you think, how much do you think your team benefits from a game like tonight coming up, a, you know, a tough game, be able to kind of flex your muscle a little bit to, Tonight. I think it's amazing for our confidence. Uh, the last few games, we showed the resilience when we are necessarily not winning the whole game by five. We showed that we have the strength and confidence, keep doing what we're doing and make sure that we win the hockey game no matter what. But of course, tonight when we, you know, when we produce offensively is it's very good for our confidence, especially for our forwards. And um, it's going to be huge for the upcoming games. Follow up question, if you have one, Chad. Yeah, it, it seemed like uh, you guys made so many extra passes tonight instead of taking the first shot that, that showed up. Uh, just, can you talk a little bit about the way the team shares the puck and, and how much that made a difference tonight? I believe we, we simplified our game a little bit tonight, which, uh, you know, bore the fruit of more goals. I think uh, even yesterday we tried to be a little bit more cute. We try to go, oh, uh, you know, score on open nets. And sometimes you just got to get the hard ones to, you know, get the team going, get the confidence up. And then the, you know, beautiful one comes out. Uh, for example, tonight, the uh, power play goal for uh, Reggie Lutz. That was amazing play. And that all comes out of the confidence that we get with the, with the hard plays. You know, not the very pretty ones, but the most important ones. Tim Rapoli of Flow Hockey. Uh, Coach Hastings uh, talked about you and your line uh, first thing in the press conference. Uh, how much pride do you take in the fact that uh, you're emerging as a scorer and a leader? Um, the confidence comes from my line mates, especially. I have to get a shout out to Will Hillman. This was his uh, second game of the season, but he came in as if, you know, uh, as a veteran forward. He played unbelievable, and it all comes down of how hard we play and how we play together. I, I have to credit them because that's the only way that I can be successful through them. And um, that's, uh, that's the core of that. I, you know, I have to thank them for my success and I hope I will get them back the next one. Do you have a follow up, Tim? Yeah. Um, do you know the uh, North American term chippiness and chippy hockey? Yeah. So there was plenty of that in that final minute. Uh, what do you think of the extracurricular activities in the, in the final minute and you at the bottom of a, a real dog pile there? I, I have a I, I played for Minot uh, Minotauros and I have a few past teammates on uh, the Tommies. So uh, you know, we, of course, uh, the Null is uh, the you know, it's the trenches as we call it. But you know, they they played hard the entire game, and um, I think the, the it's gonna build up the anger of their season ending and it's unfortunate. They just play hard. I, you know, that we would do probably the same thing. We had a couple of scraps this season, but no hard feelings. They just try to play hard and 
that's what happens during hockey. Good stuff. Thanks. Thank John, you. Do you have another question? No, we're good. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Andre. Thank you for having me. Of course, tonight when we, you know, when we produce offensively, is it's very good for our confidence, especially for our forwards. 